quiet Dude, right I was, dude, I was <laughs> just... You just spoke the words that were trying to come out of my face. There is a brutal silence in the room right now. It's almost undescribable. Nobody is saying anything, and we have to say stuff. Here we go. <laughs> so here we go, guys. Pandora elimination. TFA, TFA Hornet. Hornet rocking Ken, rocking Akuma, and another Street Fighter team. Dr. Sub-Zero rolling with Sagat and Ryu, which has already proven to be a pretty effective yes. team. As we know, won the finger cramp tournament. Eli Joe yeah, is playing this exactly. team. Yeah, exactly. This is going to be pretty interesting, but we got Street Fighter Legends versus Street Fighter Legends, both in-game and real life, in front of the evil mammoth. A little bit of a spacing game as Ken goes on the offensive. Very aggressive right now from TFA Hornet. Immediate tech throw, good stuff. Nice jump in too. We notice, ooh, nice some pressure. corner stuff. I'm wondering if, if, if Hornet uses Ken in Street Fighter 4 because we're seeing some similar mix-ups here. Ooh. Hornet definitely looks a lot more relaxed right now. Extreme Jumping offense in, coming from Ken, combos. yeah. He's in there. Nice, big cross-up goes into the low. You'd think the dramatic chase behind them was fueling their passion to be offensive right now because there is just so much going on right now. Dr. Sub-Zero starting to read those neutral jump aids. Yeah. Nice. Good anti there. And chucks the fireball to stop the tech. So a little bit more spacing. Dr. Sub-Zero now out of the corner. And they're facing off in the middle. But TFA Hornet has a substantial lead. Still has to be careful, though. He's about half health. And is able to tag just off the block stun to bring in Akuma. Gets and finishes it round. off with an uppercut. The mammoth is still chasing them down. The relentless mammoth. Amazing, dude. Look at that relentless thing. mammoth. Oh, they took out the other boat. No, the boat isn't important. They're fighting. Nice jump in again. Ooh, it's super. This, that, that, this spooky. This might be the very first time we see a super activated in match play during elimination Definitely. and team yes, matches. Yes, in elimination, people didn't really have optimal they didn't usage really of their meter. They didn't really know how so. to use it, how to use their meter. And as you can tell, look at Sagat's life. That one combo did 50% damage. Nice anti-air once again. So Dr. Sub-Zero's fundamentals are very, very solid right now, but he hasn't really been hitting any solid yeah, damage. Not, not too much damage coming out of it. Good footsies, good spacing, and trying to stop Hornet's offense, because there is a lot of offense coming from Hornet. I think I know what's happening, and Ryu is trying to uppercut uh, Ken, and he's getting those jump-ins. And uppercuts do not work the same from Street Fighter 4. Definitely not. We talked about you that have to be earlier. Very early, and Much sometimes it'll still trade. And you have to use EX. Gets the tag combo. And both Dr. Sub-Zero's character is very low enough right now. He's going to have to fight it out. Ooh, Akuma hit a reversal. Oh, no. And if he went into the light hurricane kick, he might have been able to finish it there. But we still have a match. Dr. Sub got a jump in. Could have had opportunity for big damage maybe. there, but only got the low forward. He's got the speed gem activated on Ryu, but Akuma's playing a spacing game. But he also has his, uh, his power gem is on if they connect with throw or anything small. Just like that. Grabs oh. him out of the EX. I'm not sure Quick which EX move that was. I'm not too sure either, but it did not have enough frames at the start to get out and gets thrown by Akumo. So it looks like Hornet is taking the first game in a best of three. Hornet's trying to redeem himself here. Uh -huh. And the Mammoth respawns, and here we go again. Nice use of the step kick there. Dr. Subs got him in the corner. Nice. Ooh. Good bait there. I think that's what Waiting he was trying to do a lot of the time with Ryu and just wasn't happening. Nice. Good job. That's the solid damage that you look for. And now he's just waiting for impatient. All of a sudden, he's reading everything perfectly. Yep. And Hornet is the one getting impatient now. He might have a new game plan, him. yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice anti -air. Ken's. Looks like Ken might have two gems activated. No. What I don't see is Hornet going for many throws, as we as we can tell that Dr. Sub-Zero has the throw tech gem on right now, and that'll eat half of a bar whenever he throws a tech automatically. Ooh, a raw tag. There we go. Tries to grab him that time, just you said it. I think he heard yeah, you. Yeah, I think he, yeah, <laughs> maybe. Might be listening in. Tags in Ken, who has more health right now. Yep. And now Dr. Sub's got to be careful. And he tags to Ryu immediately. Absolutely. Good choice. Classic Shoto battle. 
That just sweeps Ooh, uppercuts bait. and fireballs. Nice, baited it, but was not no able punish. to punish. The low forwards of both of these characters can be very effective for going into chain combos for damage. Fireball fights and another sweep from Ken. Some mind games going on here. You gonna jump, you gonna not jump. Kuma soaks one fireball to save the life of Ken. Eight but he does not have that much on his on his health bar too. Dr. Sub just waiting for him. He knows Looking good for Sub, go. and that was a free combo because I think it was a counter hit maybe. Mm -hmm. Time is over. Very spacing heavy game. Here we go again. Dr. Sub Zero's defense is, is definitely. Ooh, counter hit first goes. attack, and it was very long away. Looks like the sweeps of both the character, both Ken and Ryu are very good. Tried to use the EX Fireball to reset Fireball pressure, yep. but Dr. Sub-Zero read him, jumped yeah, over Yeah, jumped right over it. Gave up the battle. It looks like Ken is actually playing more of a Fireball game than Sagat at the moment. I think that, uh, that he's realized that he's been jumping in a little bit too much, and now yeah. he wants to play the long-range game and establish the spacing before Gotta jumping in the switch up sure. those play styles yep. right in the middle of the game. These guys are both adjusting very well so far in the match. Yeah. Nice cross up there. What's interesting is that Sub Zero is actually teching all of these regular moves, and he can auto tech them as well. Interesting that he would choose the auto tech gem. Maybe a sub mind game going on there, but Ken gets the uppercut and a sweep. Just a straight wake up sweep. Caught him after the tech. There's some, there's some spacing going on with Ken here. There's a lot of fireballs. And Hornet had, had, still has a super available. Two Ooh. bars. Draw Ken tag. was very yeah, close there. Got to be, got to be very careful and maximize the damage on raw tags. Puma can play the fireball game pretty well because he can get three hits that? out of a fireball. So the guy actually went under both hits in, in the stand round yeah. just now. Very interesting. This new game and misses the combo and immediate simultaneous tag. Oh. That is going to hurt a lot. Big punish for Doctor Sub. There could there could have been more, but he did get good damage. One second left, and it looks like Hornet looks like takes Hornet's this round. So we're all even up on game two. Oh, man. If he had gone for the cross Yeah, up man. There. I just saw that. Nice. Ooh, solid damage. Solid again. damage. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Very close. Had both characters there. To, a, to yeah. a similar happy birthday in other games. First, I think that might be the first chain launch we've seen in this entire match. Hornet's aggression is in the job. Did you see that fake out? He's, that was crazy. He's changing his style a lot, and all of a sudden, Hornet's crazy offense comes into effect, and he's able to pull out another round. And now he is two games in. So is it 2-0 right now? Yeah, I believe so. I believe so. Wow, that hitbox on the jump forward yeah. is so good. Oh. Spacing game is very interesting. Two game, two characters that are one that's good on offense, one that's good at spacing. Oh man, Doctor Sub Zero so got lost yeah. half health already, and he had the tag. Those random pokes, getting hit by a fireball every once in a while, it adds up, man. Definitely does. Tried to get him with the grab. Yeah, and you can see the grab ranges are so much shorter now. I've noticed that uh, Hornet is using a lot of sweeps, and they are connecting. Definitely. Uh, I'm thinking that it looks like Dr. Sub-Zero needs to watch his feet. Definitely. He might be trying to buffer something or just Maybe. looking for another option. Maybe. But it's happening an awful lot. Oh, gets to chain. Goes oh. into a chain combo but ends with a sweep, and the launcher will miss in that situation. Tried to cross up Tatsu, but autocorrect. Yep. Once again, another sweep gets hit. Ooh, he could have whiff punished that. Yeah, absolutely. He's gotta watch for it. I think what Dr. Sub's trying to do now is he's trying to get him to whiff that sweep and get a punish. Maybe. He's looking for it. Just trying to explore the hitbox. And this could do it. Almost. Unfortunately, he's definitely gonna tag out. Nice. Very wow. nice. Dr. Sub Zero and definitely They both that. traded with their EX uppercuts and Sagat's outrighted Ken in that situation, so that's good to know. This is getting intense as the other boat is down. Nice Ken jump jumps in with super. easy damage. This should do 50% against Sagat. Wow. Very close. Very close. Fake cross up into the grab. But yep. Dr. Sub's door. Dr. Sub's tech game is definitely very solid. Absolutely. Raw uppercut. He tried to whiff punish that just yeah. now. Yeah. He's, he's definitely looking for it. But with Sagat low on life, he tags him out to recover some of his health. Ooh. That anti air down back, down back heavy punch. Nice DP. Stops the neutral jump. 
Back to Sub Zero. Once under again, pressure, there's there's that yeah there's that that trade. Oh man, again. And Hornet is willing to use the right meter, dead? and this could possibly do it. That yeah, super hurts. That's that's the thing. Doing damage in Street Fighter Cross Second will take some meter, and you build meter fast for a reason. This is match point right now. Let's see if Faye Hornet, if he takes this one, he'll save himself, but unfortunately he will eliminate his teammate. Even the faces of the Tekken players right now are dead set on Jumping the screen. Again. That is a lot of Dr. damage. Sub Zero's in a lot of Sub trouble. He's in the, in the corner. corner. He needs to get Sagat out, and he does. Good tag. Gets some damage out of it. Oh, almost got the link there. Yeah, Hornet is, is on the attack right now. Air touch with the DP. Hornet's Free hitting juggle. a ton of damage. Nice sweep there from close range. Again, there him with the anti -air. Very good at predicting the jumps. Brings the Sagat, oh, and I, I think, think that's this it. just might do it. It depends if Sagat has enough health. No. no. The damage oh, is enough. Man. TFA Hornet TFA brought Hornet. himself back from the brink, but unfortunately, he takes it. bad times for Dr. Dr. Zero. Sub Zero is not going to qualify for the $25,000, but no need to worry. He will still be with us for the remainder of Cross Assault. I don't know about no need to worry. I think this oh, is a well, big worry for him that's right true. now. <laughs> You're right. You're right. We're going to do right, We're definitely going to be able to see more of stays in the competition, and Dr. Sub-Zero is out. Uh, for the winner, we've got Markman here to present a prize. There you go. Oh, whoa. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Use this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Markman told him, use yeah. this. <laughs> oh, no. No, we got plenty of red shirts. Dr. Sub-Zero definitely did not seem too happy with that gift. Not at all. <laughs> no one likes the salty right. pink shirt.